All right, down here at the bottom left, a member of the team, Startail. You might want to get vaccinated before you play against this guy because otherwise you might catch something called <coughs> the... <laughs> the Startail virus. <laughs> there he is on camera now. I've heard of some pro gamers catching the Startail virus and they switch teams. Oh. That happens sometimes. Up here at the top position, a member of the team MVP. He's very MVP smart. She didn't give me time to do my joke. <laughs> I like the first girl better. <laughs> <laughs> so, on this map, like you said, you can see a lot of different openings in this matchup. That's why I really like this map for PVT. You basically can't Nexus first, and you can't go for a CC first. You have to do a one barracks expand or one gate expand. It's kind of the greediest thing you can do as far as that goes. But otherwise, there's a ton of different options. The map architecture is really good. I love Zelda Caverns. I mean, I talked earlier about how I didn't like the rocks, but I like this map so much that it's okay. I've, I've become accustomed to the rocks on this map. I'm okay with it. It evens out in the end. It really does. I mean, if there weren't rocks on this map for the gold, then Zergs would just try to fast expand there, and sometimes they would get away with it. And, or there's just all these weird things that could happen on, on this map if there weren't rocks there, and oh, that's why they're there. Although, even if these guys do decide to go for one gate or well, one racks expand, there are still a lot of avenues to punish that. We saw that earlier today in Code A. Uh, Shiny Star actually went for a one gate expand and was completely punished by Jinro. It was pretty much textbook how to punish that. And this map is actually a little bit smaller on the rust distance when compared to those positions as well. So it's going to be even easier if Virus does want to punish any kind of greedy build coming out from uh, Jinx. Yeah, that is true. And right now we do see the reactor going up for Virus. It looks like he's going to 2-racks. He has added a second barracks as well. This build this build and the one rack expander are the two standard TVP builds right now. Mm -hmm. You either see one or the other, it seems like, these days. SCV does come in here, wants to check for that second gas, sees it. Now the other important thing to check for is where is that second pylon? He's going to be wanting to find that. If you're a Terran player, it? there it is, there he sees it, is. it. If you're a Terran player and you're scouting a Protoss, always remember those two things are the things you want to check for. Does he have a second gas? If he doesn't have a second gas, he could be doing a one gate expand, he could be all-inning you, you don't know. If he has a second gas, you could. it could be anything. It could actually be anything. <laughs> <laughs> but the second pylon, if you know where the second pylon is, that means you know where you might want to scan, or you might want to send a Reaper in, whatever, you know, where that's where stuff's going to hide. Yep. You can't hide something where there's no pylons. It all looks and like speaking of things to hide... Yep, Twilight Council down in the bottom right-hand corner of Genius's base. Are we going to see those fast DTs like we were talking about? I think we just might, Unstable. Just might. Now, what Genius has seen so far is he has seen the gas, he didn't see the reactor, doesn't know exactly what's being teched up to. When you see a gas like this, it's relatively risky to go for Twilight Council tech, because if he goes Cloak Banshees, well, things go badly, to put it bluntly. So it's a little bit of a risk to do this. Mm -hmm. He is making a Stalker right now, Genius is, but I don't think we're going to see Blink. I think most likely we'll see a Dark Templar Shrine, and it looks like that's what's going to be. He doesn't have enough gas, so he's just going to keep right-clicking that probe until he has enough. <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm talking about. You're like, oh, I just want to make that tech structure. There it, there it is. <laughs> Even our observer was impatient. He clicked on the build button. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was like, this is obviously what it's going to be. Yeah. So... Even though we were just talking about not rushing to DTs much anymore, it still does have its place, but this little force here by Virus could do a lot of damage. We have a look at the units up in the base for Genius. He doesn't really have that many at the moment. Yeah, he is going to see this coming, though. He does have the Zelnaga Watchtower with this probe. So he sees everything that's coming. He's going to immediately pull that probe and that Stalker. He does have two Zealots. He's going to make these warp gates into, or make these gateways into warp gates, rather. He does have enough minerals to get two sentries, and that's probably exactly who's going to warp in. Buy himself some more time. Mm -hmm. The problem for Virus right now, though, is that this Dark Templar expand is so strong against a build like this if the Protoss responds appropriately to the pressure. Well, there's no uh, proxy pylons just yet. We do see a probe going around on the left-hand side at the top of the map. Going Virus? Through, but he's making an engineering bay. He's figured it out, man. I think he knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. He's like, what could it be? I saw that you got the second gas. You have too many sentries at the top of your ramp. It's not void rays. It's DTs. Yep. So he does see the Nexus as well, and I think now he's got a perfect idea of what's going on. He started his stim. Most likely we'll see a missile turret down here at the bottom of the ramp, and he's going to move his commander down as well. Mm -hmm. And the Dark Shrine's done. 
Here come two DTs. What can they do? He actually hasn't made a missile turret just there yet. There he goes. Making it at the top. We'll get a shot of it The one thing second. you can do is if you put both DTs to actually kill the turret itself, sometimes you can get it down before your units die. Uh, we do only have that one turret too. Is he going to notice? Oh, he's actually blocked it off with the units. Yeah, he's not even going to use a scan because he doesn't have to. No. Beautiful move by Virus, and that's going to be it for those DTs. It can still be very annoying with them, though. Mm -hmm. It's going to leave one down at the bottom of the ramp. It's going to be very annoying for Virus to have to take that expansion. More gateways and a forge being added here for Genius. Going to start getting those armor upgrades. Probably will research charge soon as well. Yep. Well, the good thing about this is his expansion will actually be up before uh, Virus. There's that scan. Clears out that DT. Going to put a turret down at the bottom just in case more come through later. Because he knows the text there. He doesn't want to get caught off guard later in the game. Yeah, and he still has enough for one more scan. As this turret goes up, he's going to save it. DT will come over here, try to kill a turret, but another scan will come down on his head. He was he was eyeing that turret the whole time, looking for a shimmer to drop that scan. Yeah, I mean, those two DTs are just like my old DTs I used to cast with. That's exactly what they were <laughs> like. That's what happened to them. And if you play against someone like Virus, he will save scans, he'll get his engineering bay up, when he two racks is, mm -hmm. and that's it. Goodbye. So Goodbye. we do have that plus uh, one armor coming out for Genius now. His react What do you think his reaction is going to be now that he did zero damage with those DTs? Well, he's just going to tech up very quickly, get that armor up. He's going to get charged ASAP. Though he's got two options from there. He can either try to hit a nice timing and punish Virus for committing so much of this and teching a little bit slowly. He is getting charged now. Or he could try to take a third base, tech up to High Templar, and just yep. be a little bit turtly. Here we do have that one DT. You're going to see these army mix. Another scan goes down. Nicely done. I think we're always going to see at least one scan banked up for Virus from here on in, just in case this happens. Uh, he does have a lot of Marines in his mix now. He looks like he wants to be a little bit aggressive with it, or at least threaten to be aggressive. That is very true. And again, you're right, he's constantly saving that one scan. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to be aggressive. And if he's got the scans, he can be aggressive. If you don't have scans, you just can't. Oh, here we go. We're going to see a drop over on the right-hand side of the main. Here at 4 Genius. He's going to go where all the tech structures are, Wolf. Yeah, and actually... He's going to stim those Marauders could and they're going to drop. It, could he get that Twilight Cowls before Charge finishes? Oh, that'd be huge. He's coming around. He's going to see these tech structures. I'm going to say he's going to drop right then and there. Genius is going to see it. He's going to pull all his units. There they are. The units coming across. More units being dwarfed in as well. On the other hand, he might do nothing. Yeah, he's actually <laughs> going to drop. Whoa. No. Oh, that was Changing really his weird. Mind, but he is coming in at the natural at the same time with a few units. So there we go. The drop finally goes in. It's somewhere where he can kind of be safe against these Zealots. He is going to stim those as well. At the same time, there are units uh, pulling back from the natural. There's a factory floating there, but he is going to clean up these drops. Lifting up at least. He lost about half his units there, but did his damage work. Yeah, it was a pretty decent trade. I think he could have actually dropped behind that Twilight Council. I think he's actually going to drop there right now. No. No, but he no. thought about it. If he dropped behind that Twilight Council, not only would the Zealots not have been able to surround it, but he would have been able to snipe it. So I thought it was a little yeah. unusual he decided not to do that. Well, I think but they were on Rally Point up to the Mac Mineral patch, and he just wasn't looking at right, the time. Right, right. I think that that was a good move, though. Like you were saying, I don't know if we got a shot of it. There was a group of Marauders and Marines as well at the front of the Naturals. So if Genius had pulled all of his units, he would have attacked the Naturals. So it was kind of a distraction move. So maybe that's why he wasn't really paying a ton of attention to it. So we do see that Templar Archives going up, as well as these rocks being destroyed yep. as the Ghost Academy goes down. Well, the next obvious step for the tech build that Genius has gone is going to be High Templar. So the Ghost Academy is pretty much a given. Uh, Virus has been on top of the ball the entire match. And he's actually impressing me this game. He is. It's hard to do that, but he is. Yeah, Unstable and I are actually the least impressed with GSL <laughs> casters that have ever existed. You think Artosis is critical? <laughs> you should talk to me after the cast, man. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like Genius is actually going to destroy the Gold Rocks as well. He wants to take one of these expansions. He's being a little indecisive on which one he well, wants. He could just be thinking in the future as well. He's right, got nothing right. to do with those units at the time. Uh, Virus also taking out his gold rocks, but we do actually see a command center being built here for him. Uh, taking the gold right now and turning that into a PF would probably be a really smart idea. What plus do you think, one, Wolf? Well, plus one weapons are on the way for Genius, I wonder, or plus two rather. So that's he's going to be a little bit ahead in upgrades here pretty soon, as he already does have one one. Taking the gold as a planetary right now would actually be a smart move because he has somewhat of a map control. He's eight supply down, yeah. but he knows that Genius is making basically only zealots, mm -hmm. and he's about to get those ghosts out. Oh, Archons! There I love go. that these are being used so much more now in this matchup. Yeah, I love the buff for the Archon. It's not it's not a huge buff, but it's just enough to make Archons something that you want to use. You don't yeah. always want to use them. Mm -hmm. Well, they're good to warp in and get that little bit of extra time for, that, for your Storm to finish. Exactly.
And it looks like both these players just kind of beating their chest a little bit, moving around on the map, trying to scare their opponents, but neither really committing to an engagement. Zealot battling for the Zelnaga Watchtower in the build of the map as well, not getting a shot. He can it. take two Marines, it's okay. Does get taken But he can't out. take like 50. <laughs> yeah, can't take that entire army, unfortunately. Supply-wise, Genius pulling a little bit ahead again. Mm -hmm. Even has a pylon over here behind the third base location. It's uh, just, or at least it's just there be. to see if an Yeah, exactly. Goes, yeah. He's just checking to make sure that Virus hasn't made a third command. So there, and here he goes. He might actually charge forward here. The Icons are at the front. There goes the stim down by Virus. Nice force goes. Oh, the EMP on top of all those sentries. Only three force fields in this engagement. All the Zealots are chewing through the first half of this Marine Marauder Ball. These Archons are still alive, absolutely doing insane amounts of damage. And Genius coming through that, and his Archons lived. They're going to recharge those shields all the way back up. Look! If you actually look at the health on those, they have like one or two shields left. Yeah, two of these Archons have actually, let's see, one had 20 shields about <laughs> on that. The other one, yeah, they both had about 20 shields. They recharged very quickly. Yeah. But just a few more Marauder shots would have killed them, so that's very lucky for Genius. They was able to keep those Archons alive. Mm -hmm. And again, we were talking about the, the idea of taking a planetary there rather than the Oracle. No, he just doesn't want to do that. He just doesn't want to do it, but he feels comfortable because he's got a pretty strong army. The problem is he didn't really win that battle very well, and no. now Genius is pulling ahead in supply. If Genius wants to, he's just going to get more of his units together. He's got enough energy for two storms as soon as Storm finishes. Not quite well, as long as he yet. keeps those uh, those Templars split up, he's going to avoid the EMPs. The Archons do take a lot of damage from the EMPs as well. Uh, actually, if I'm having a look, there's no, no ghosts. ghosts. He's Where are the ghosts? Two. He's making two ghosts right now, but right. the ghosts did die earlier mm -hmm. after EMPing. I don't think Virus can hold this gold base. It's going to be interesting. There are five Archons in that mix, and looks like Genius is also... If you have a look at the map presence that Genius has, he is everywhere. He has pylons in all the different places. The only base he hasn't actually scattered is the far right, and so he's playing extremely well today. Yeah, he's got, he's got those pylons there not only to be able to warp in units from different locations, but he also spots drops in those. Looks like he wants to be aggressive here. These ghosts just both have enough for one EMP, but it looks like Genius is not waiting. He's going for it now, attacking all of these STBs. Nice oh. EMPs on the Archons, but there may be too many units. Genius. Yeah, there's a lot of zealots here. The nice stutter micro here by Virus. And there go the storms on all of those Marines and Marauders. That is going to severely chew through all that medivac energy. The, the Orbital Command does go down. Genius taking a very commanding lead. He is 40 supply up. He's getting more, uh, more and more upgrades. Virus immediately throwing down another command center. He needs a third ASAP. He absolutely does. Remember, Virus, Virus is at just 1-1 one, one upgrades, whereas Genius has plus 2 weapons on him. He's also about to have plus 2 armor before Virus does as well. And yeah. even so, Genius is taking a 4th base. Yeah, those Archons really making a big difference there. Just standing right behind the Zealots, doing even more damage. They do have extra damage versus Bio. Genius is... Oh! Genius oh! is doing... I don't know what to call this. He's taking his opponent's gold base. <laughs> He's made a Nexus there. He's made another Nexus there. He's going forward with his Archon. There's not that many units left here for Virus. Oh, the EMPs just chew through all of those Zealots' health. They don't, don't think it's going to be enough. It, Storm's going down on all that bio. He is being completely chewed through. And this looks like it's it for Virus. That's very much looking like it is it for Virus. When you have SCVs attacking Archons, GG. you know it's the end. <laughs> GG. I think Haxu started something. With the Nexuses. He may have. <laughs> On I side, like that move, it. though. He, he didn't just make a Nexus, he took his opponent's gold. gold. <laughs> that was, like, when Virus saw that, he was like, oh, uh, man, I, what I do may I do? be more behind than I thought. <laughs> Virus is a very good player, but... He's I like Genius' God by style. Those, uh, by those Archons. Yeah. Genius stayed on top of his upgrades the entire way as well. That really helped. So he was on top of his upgrades. He was on top of the drops. A lot of his units got caught in front of those force fields in the initial engagement as well. He did. He really needed to come out of that with a lot better trade-off. And he just snowballed from there. He really did. So, we are going to see Genius versus... Is it? You don't remember, do you? I don't, actually. <laughs> top. Genius, play Genius versus like, Top. Okay, right. Because <laughs> the winners played first. I, thought, I yes. wasn't sure if the winners or the losers played first. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to guess. But we're going to see both those matches coming up. It is going to be Fruit Dealer versus Virus, and we're going to have OGS Top versus MVP Genius. Yeah, it's winners first. We'll just check. All right. There we go. So, of course, these guys are going to play off for the top seed. Both of them almost secure right. in Curtis, because, of course, if you do lose uh, this game, you have to go and play the winner of the, the two right. losers. Okay. No matter what, uh, both these guys are still staying in Codas. It's just a matter of whether or not they're going to advance to the round of 16. Exactly. But, of course, they all want to do that. They all do. Who wouldn't? I don't know. 
don't know if I can't answer that. <laughs> exactly. There is no answer. That's why you can't answer that. Alright guys, we're gonna have a two minute break. Go get some Pepsi. 